when adults make war, children suffer. The population of the Ukraine, I looked up, is around 44 million. About 1 to 2 million children have been displaced. That's a huge number in a country of that size. These children are at the whim of fate. So I'm with Creators for Peace. Publishing videos, one a day in my case, or that's what I'm tra aiming for. Asking you all, if you're able, to donate to the Ukraine. I'll be posting a link provided by Creators for Peace um, for um, UNICEF, raising money for the children of Ukraine. I have donated myself, I'll be doing again when I get paid again. I'll also be playing Metro Exodus. It might be the only Ukrainian game I play, because I'm only going to be doing it for a week, and I don't play it well. So you get to have a laugh at an old man who can't play a game. It is developed by a Ukrainian uh, company. That's why I've chosen it. I'll also be running a video from the BBC before each gameplay episode. If the thought of children isn't tugging at your heart, and I'm sure it is, or the adults, it's worth bearing in mind there's also pets. Now, the link I'll be giving you will be to UNICEF, raising money for children of Ukraine. But if you wish to follow up with other charities who are donating to Ukraine, that's fine. Follow whoever you wish. Um, just help out however you can. Oh. Here's a little tale from the BBC on rescuing the abandoned animals of Ukraine. War is the most vulnerable. <coughs> These are pets that have been left behind in Ukraine. <coughs> as their owners flee the war. Photographer Nick Tad has travelled from the UK and is documenting how he's helping displaced animals. Those pets not only are suffering because they've been displaced from their home, but a lot of those pets are getting left at train stations and bus mm -hmm. stations and places like that because the bus companies and the train people won't allow them on the buses of course. or the train station. So not only have they been displaced, then I mean, I wouldn't really like to be in this position where the owner has basically had to leave them behind, chained to a lamppost. So you were getting a lot of animals in with serious PTSD and complete confusion because they have no idea what's going on and it really is a pitiful sight. <coughs> Nick and other volunteers travel to sanctuaries in western Ukraine. There's another little fella getting loaded up. They bring animals shelters in Poland. The animals are checked by vets before leaving Ukraine. Chacha has just come from a, a town in Ukraine that's just been bombed. And we're going to get her out, basically. I'm not sure if you've heard the story of the boy throwing uh, starfish back in the ocean. And I don't know if it's biblical or from some other source. I really don't care. The problems that are going on in the Ukraine after Russia's invasion seem so overwhelming. What can I do? I can give a few dollars, and what's that going to help? A man was walking down the beach, and he saw a... Each day, the beach washed in starfish, and as it washed out, they would be left there to die in the sunlight. One day, he was walking down the beach, and he saw a young boy picking up starfish and throwing them back in the ocean. Picking up a starfish, throwing it. Picking up a starfish, throwing it. He watched for a while, puzzled. Went up to the boy who was surrounded by starfish, all the way up the beach, all the way down the beach. Picking up a starfish, throwing it back in the ocean, or placing it, whatever. What are you doing? I'm saving starfish. They'll die if they're left on the sand in the sun. But look how many there are. You can't save them all. So the boy picked up a starfish, put it back in the ocean and said, Save that one. If you can do it, give a dollar. Or a trillion dollars, I don't care. You save that one. 
Yeah, help with that one. Might not be a huge help, but it's a help. You know there's 7, billi 7 billion people in the world? We all give a dollar that's 7 billion dollars. Might even be 8 billion nowadays, I don't know. Point is, whatever you can give. Please help. Uh, and when you're following up with a charity, as I said, I'm posting a link for UNICEF. If you want to go somewhere else, that's fine. Just please try and make sure it's a legitimate char uh, charity raising for the Ukraine. Because this, one of the scummiest things I've heard from Westerners is that there are people who are posting fake charities as scams. I know UNICEF isn't. That's one of the reasons I'm using that through Creators for Peace. <coughs> But if you have others, make sure they're legitimate when you donate. All right. Let's go to the game. Metro Exodus. Written by a Ukrainian uh, developer. Well, it has been years since anyone's heard that anything but static Moscow. and white noise on the radio. Who could still believe we are not alone on this earth? My wife, my comrades from the Order. My friends, people from my station, nobody believes me. They are sure that there's nothing on the radio. Sure that save for us who hid in Moscow Metro, there were no survivors of the last war. We are alone on this planet, and in the Metro it's common knowledge. But I did hear that call on the radio with my own ears. Yes, it was immediately drawn out by the static, but I had heard it. Apex left is where we were. Which means that... Yes, we're in the, we're in the station. Damn it. Trying to give myself away by lighting the flashlight by mistake. Absolutely sure I saw someone. Yeah. Nobody here but us chickens. Going no. Okay, this oh crap. Again? I did not mean to do that. This is trouble. I need to remind myself of the controls. Because uh, I certainly didn't mean to do that. Options. Controls. Keyboard. Uh, movement. Crouch is control. Jump is space. Print, uh, sprint is shift. But it's not a toggle. Can't exactly leave it alone. You piece of shit! That's not good. I noticed you covering. That didn't work. Yeah, it helps if you remember the. Helps if you remember the controls. Ouch. Okay. 
Try again. Yeah, be careful, there's a there's a yes, person down there. Captain, sir. If I may have permission to speak, this German uh, is one shady character. If I go in there, I'm gonna be seen. We'll find out. First, we handle the attack gaps. I'm telling you, there was a noise from behind the gate. Hey, <laughs> something moved there. Did you see it? Oh crap. Ah crap crap crap. I noticed you covering. Well, <laughs> that's a lot of death. A lot of injury too. <laughs> Alright, he's going up. Good. Nobody here but us chickens. If I go in there, I'm going to be seen. I'm not seeing any way through here. But where exactly am I going? here but as chickens don't worry about it Have a med kit. He's hiding somewhere, so flush him out, people. Oh, you think you can get away? Not happening, not on my watch. Can't get through there. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, he's looking down here. Oh, he's looked away. Through here? No. Can I get through there? No. 
not entirely sure where I'm meant to be going. I'm on the train, maybe. Where am I meant to be going, I wonder? Does anyone even know where I'm meant to be going? I think there's something Yeah, there's something there. Don't worry about it. Well, there might be less people here now, anyway. You think? I just all cleared it. Let's sprint to your Mac, Artyom. <laughs> Where are we meant to be going? I'm I'm going around blindly here. Artyom, get to your Mac. Where is he? Where is he? I don't know where your Mac is, love. I'm sorry, but I don't. Where? I have no idea where this year Mac guy is. Artyom, get to your Mac. Tell me where he is. Can I get through there? Let's sprint to your Mac, Artyom. Where is he? Yes, if you'll tell me where he is, I might be able to do that. Where's Yermak? Who's Yermak? Let's sprint to Yermak, Artyom. <sighs> if you'll stop saying that and actually give me an indicator. Is there, is there somewhere I'm meant to know? Please stop telling me to get to your Mac and I have no idea who your Mac is. I can't get through there. Let's yeah. sprint to your Mac, Artyom. Anything to do with the train? <laughs> oh, I can't get up there. Am I glad to see oh, that's you? your Mac, okay. Okay, found him. I'm fine, thank you. All right, we don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. All right. And please be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. There's probably not all that many left in the base after I've blown everyone up.
All right, we've got the turntable. What's been hit? What was being hit? We're throwing grenades? What was happening? Oh! We let go! That was intense. I guess we were meant to fall. Are you okay? That's where. I see you. <laughs> Let's not burn to death, shall we? Help me out here, Artyom. All right. Let's do this together. Just a little. <laughs> There's a the train moving. Well, if you let me. What am I doing up? Let me move. Yes. Kind of took control of me there. Apparently. We've got the train. Oh shit. And then we got shelled. Hey, we have the end of the engineer with two accomplices. Over. Roger that base. Over. Alright, shoot these two. And as for the engineer. Oh, what do you mean shoot these two? Is Don't this you the dare get me to let soldiers here. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Uh. Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! Oh, hey, what the hell? What are, what are you doing here? Talk about Sir Christ. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. Uh, Make everyone shut up! What the hell is going on? Leave this. Just can't think of shit! <clears throat> so this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot our children! Be quiet! They how did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just... No, right now, we're baffled. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, now. Shit. Huh? Are left. No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? Yeah. There, in the ravine, there are people from well, other, other cities dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. What? Perhaps. What's going, going on, on out there? Down this road. The road is fine. At least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste though. They called the cruiser. Right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. <laughs> and they can go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. <sighs> Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. Uh, Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and push him ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. What's going on? 
I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this Here I come. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! What's going on? Why? What's this about? While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Yeah! I noticed! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! I noticed! Uh. <coughs> oh shit! That ah, don't look good. Stop the engine immediately and come out with your hands above your head. Oh, that don't look good. Oh, that don't look good. That was just a warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. <laughs> Harry, now, know. Is this what you were hoping for? Not really. Thought? You knew everything and never took Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, okay. Stop it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Yamak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah! Yes, finally, some good sense! Now, keep braking to a stop! Well, grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he's starting to talk and he better do something about it. Uh. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Is that you, Yakov? Yes, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We were going to go far, just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. Oh, okay. And you just go up and fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Are you fucking kidding me? We? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your master. <laughs> but the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that okay. shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plan? How do I get in there? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question nice, for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! Tell me damned if I give it to parasites like you! Ah, that's what we do. Keep your radio on, Artyom. You will need to be our eyes and ears in there. I think they are preparing to storm us. So they will be transmitting orders. Oh, this is dangerous. Time and cover if they open up you get the idea. You had better handle this quietly. Good luck. <laughs> We're in. Yeah, you're giving up, all right. I'm gonna have that. New note. Official letter. The Commonwealth of the Stations of the Ring Line. Ring Line. The Lieutenant Colonel Tubman, Special Mobile Strike Force Commander. Colonel I have confirmed the emergency remittance of 6,000 mil grade 7.62 rounds in 200 round belts. As per the requisition form 764.35, is submitted. But I must remind you, the imminent consequences should this transaction not result in resounding success. Your operations, though not devoid of uh, certain flair, 
and thus tending to be reviewed favourably, have been consistent strain on our budget. The present remittance is an overdraft allowed only due to the credit of trust your record has granted you, and I'll be scrutinised at the nearest board meeting. Uh, I hope you understand this time you will positively must produce a satisfactory result. Alright. Back out. And off we go. Grab on! Hold on! Wait up! Well, let's hope it doesn't go into our train and knock us off the line. There she is, our baby. Oh, now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteur. Yeah. Welcome to the world of being an enemy saboteur. We against the corrupt government. from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Mm. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. I believe that. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Oh. We'll get the cutscene and then we'll move. We'll save and move on. Why the long face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm. Yes. More or less what I expected from you, but you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. <clears throat> Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. <laughs> so, they were telling the truth. Who <laughs> was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. 
What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom that took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. <laughs> Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now. So give it your <laughs> best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. Ah. Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, right here. shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from <sighs> Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, we'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? That kind of sounds like a signal. Found it yet? There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are normal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? Found it. We don't know. How will they treat us? Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Area 18-5. I repeat. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is called 18 Here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? <laughs> yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best <coughs> experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. Okay. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't though for What makes you think they don't know, dude? Everything will change. Everything. The jump is 100% perfect. Life is starting for all the survivors of the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. Yeah. So I think the moment calls for. Hmm. Bring it out, the Bring meeting. what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. Ah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. 
Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick to the Aurora! Right, the Aurora. <sighs> I still can't quick save. Let me quick save, will you? Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All Can right, I quick save now, please? Um, that should be enough. Uh, you're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, full oh, steam ahead. Uh, wow, that's sure. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. After all those years in the underground, Pretty sure this the is saving surface you. seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Of course. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. I we'll have a it. lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? That's where we're going to end it for now. Come back to this tomorrow. Ah, the iron of it. Resistors trying to over of in Russia trying to overcome an occupying force. While in Ukraine, resistors of a country with a military power on paper one tenth of the uh, of the um, USSR of Russia try and resist their occupying force. Written by a Ukrainian. I don't know when it was written. Of course, Russia's been in Ukraine into Crimea since 2014. Um, maybe a commentary on that. Playing out all too vividly now. If you can help out, please do. And I'll see you next time.